Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. For the past three weeks, I really enjoyed using my Pixel 8 Pro, but halfway through, I did encounter some random issues with the performance and battery. Some of these issues got fixed, while others are still here to stay. So let me share my experience and how things changed over time. I got my Pixel 8 Pro on the 16th of October, and when I used it with the stable version of Android 14, the device was performing poorly. I had issues with the scrolling, as I mentioned in the full review, the device was getting too warm easily, and sometimes force a quit apps while using them when it gets warm. So I decided to uninstall Android 14 QPR1 Beta 2.1 as it delivered great experience on the Pixel 7 Pro. I also updated my Google Play services and all Google apps. Once I did that, the device started to perform really, really well. It passed my heavy workload test. That includes four heavy tasks to do at the same time for 30 minutes without any thermal issues. I did try it outdoors under direct sunlight to play HDR video for 10 minutes on 5G with the case on, and the Pixel 8 Pro display was the brightest across the board when compared to the 15 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra. The case remained the same till the 3rd of November, and all of a sudden my battery started to get worse. In this screenshot, I got 5 hours of a screen on time at the 20% mark, but previously I was getting 6 hours at the same battery level, and it reaches 7 hours at 10% with mixed usage on cellular data and Wi-Fi. I didn't do anything different for this to happen, but I found that my Google Play system got updated to October 1st, but previously I was using September patch. I'm not sure if it's related to the performance drop or not, but I found other people reporting the same experience. They were getting amazing battery life and all of a sudden things changed. And here's another comment confirming the same. I also found other people confirming the same problem on Reddit. But thankfully, all these issues are now gone and I'm back again to the same snappy performance without any lag. The battery life is great. The app opening speed is extremely fast, even from a cold start, like in this case over here. So it seems like Google is still optimizing the software and it's a bit early to judge that performance of the Pixel 8 Pro. I didn't try the stable November update on my 8 Pro to share my experience, but what I'm getting from QPR1 beta program is already better than the stable version, which sounds like crazy, but this is the reality I'm experiencing. And I'm not only talking about beta 2.2, but since installing QPR1 beta 1 on my 7 Pro, I see the same improvements in performance. And that's what makes me optimistic about December update because even the beta versions are delivering a great experience. And by the way, all my banking apps are working just fine. I never got a message saying that I'm running a beta software or my phone is unsecure in case this is something important to you. The only problem I still have not only with the 8 Pro but with all other pixels I own is how Android Auto eats my battery and makes the device extremely warm even when I use it at night with the screen completely off. So I'm not sure what's going on here. It says I used it for one hour and 29 minutes screen time, but my screen was off. The battery consumption is 31%. I was playing YouTube music in addition to using Waze. So it seems like Google needs to optimize Android Auto because I'm getting really bad experience when it comes to battery and performance. Next, the animations. And overall, the Pixel 8 Pro is doing a great job in this matter. All apps open and close really fast without any problems in the animations. When you go to the recent apps screen, when you pull down the notifications shade or the app drawer, and everything works as expected. But I found the animations to be a bit laggy in two specific scenarios. The first one is on the lock screen. If you have the raise to wake feature activated and then look at your phone, you might get laggy animations uh, if you have any notifications on your lock screen. The second specific scenario is in Google Photos. When you open any photo or video, swipe up to access the info pane and then swipe back down, you will see the top white bar flashes twice. But other than this, I'm getting a great experience. Now let's talk about the scrolling experience because a lot of people complained about this problem. And for me, I had mixed experience based on which app I'm using. So for example, when I use Facebook and the scroll slowly, I might get a couple of dropped frames before it stops scrolling and it doesn't always happen. You might see it on camera, but it happens more when you scroll slowly because when you scroll fast, you won't see any issues. And when I try the same app on the iPhone, I get pretty much the same experience lagging while scrolling. So take a look closely here, you will see even more lag on the iPhone when compared to the Pixel. 
especially when you scroll slowly like this. So the pixel is even better when it comes to the Facebook. But let's talk about another app like, let's say, Instagram. And I think both deliver great experience uh, when you use it on both platforms. So here's the pixel. And let's try the slow scrolling. No issues whatsoever. Same on the iPhone. Smooth scrolling, no problems. When it comes to X or Twitter, you will see some lag on both platforms, but maybe a little bit better on the iPhone when it comes to X. So let's give it a try. So you can see some lag here when you scroll slowly on the iPhone. It's not as smooth as Instagram and same on the Pixel. But in this scenario, the iPhone is a bit better. So it depends on the app and how the developer is optimizing this app for the OS. The last thing I want to talk about is my experience with the ambient light sensor, which is something I didn't mention in my full review. It seems like the sensor is located somewhere on the left side, and if you didn't put the phone exactly where the sensor is located, the screen won't go off, and you will get more accidental touches with your ears. So let me show you an example here. When I make a phone call and cover more than half of the display, I'm not triggering the sensor, but once I shift my hand a little bit to the left side, that's when it goes off, which is kind of a weird position and you need to know where it's located exactly because every time I use my phone, put it on my ears, I press something without knowing. So you need to keep that in mind. Before ending the video, let me give you a quick update about my battery life after installing QPR1 Beta 2.2. I started to film this video at 100% battery, I kept the phone on cellular data at all times, and my display brightness is set to 64%, and I turned off adaptive brightness to, to avoid any change while filming the video. When you take a look here at the battery usage, you will see that I didn't use Wi-Fi at any point, and also here are some of the apps I used. I used Facebook, I used uh, YouTube, Google Photos, and so on. And when you take a look at the graph, no charging in the middle, everything is normal. And I'm getting almost three hours of a screen on time, and I still have 70% battery remaining, which in my opinion is an impressive battery life. It, it means 10% uh, per hour. So I might be able to reach 10 hours today, but I will keep a close eye on the performance and battery life and keep you updated if anything changed. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the things I wanted to mention after using the Pixel 8 Pro for more than three weeks. Please let me know in the comments if you shared the same experience or you have different issues that I didn't mention. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.